Hey guys, it's Ariana Grande here, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> well, that was obviously a fail. Anyways, um, I did the intro because my hair, well, I put on my hair like this a little bit, and it kind of looks like what Ariana Grande did like in 2013, so that's why I did that intro, but I ended up like dropping a bunch of stuff, so. So I just realized I've been filming the last part like this, where you can't see my face. Anyways, the part of this video is going to be a QA. and a I haven't done a QA and a on my channel before, I've done it on my Instagram, and I've done a lot of DIYs and a lot of makeup tutorial videos on my channel, and I haven't really done tags or Q&A, so this is going to be the first Q&A, and I just wanted you guys to know a little bit more about me. First question, okay, the first question is, favorite store? Forever 21 and Aeropostale, those are my two favorite stores. Next question, favorite food? Everything. I really like it. Like a lot. That's probably why I'm bad. <laughs> Anyways, next question is favorite bathy body brand. Braun. Favorite bathy body brand. I don't really know because I don't really shop there because my mom doesn't want to get out of the Next question. When is your birthday? My birthday is May 8th, it just passed like two weeks ago. I did do a birthday vlog and I was gonna post it, but it was just really, really bad quality and I didn't like it. So, um, I'm sorry I didn't do that. Next question. Favorite celebs? Um, okay, this is gonna be a long one. Most of them are males, mainly because I wanna marry like everyone. Like, okay, Evan Peters. Let let me just, don't even get me started on him, I love him so much. Like, we're like 15 years apart, but still, I love him so much. And then, obviously, Channing Tatum, I mean, who wouldn't? And, um, I know I have more, but I just want to do three for guys and three for girls. Last one has to be Cameron Dallas. I feel like there's someone who I love more than him, but that's the first person that can come to mind. So those are my three guys, and my three girls are Shailene Woodley, Blake Lively. I love her so much. Like, I just like, I love Gossip Girl, and I love her so much, and I just like, I'm so nice. like, I love her. And then Tyson Farmiga, I love her so much. She comes out on American Horror Story, her and other theaters. But, um, if you didn't know, I'm a major American Horror Story fan. Like, I don't really like scary things, but that's the only thing that I like that is really I think I'm just gonna stop with the whole next question thing. I'm just gonna start reading it. Okay, the next one. Okay. The next. Okay, I'm just gonna say. Okay. Things that I like to do when I'm bored. Basically this. I mean, that's pretty much how I started my channel because, like, I didn't know what to do. Like, whenever I'm pretty much bored. Other than that, I like to, I like to read sometimes. I love John Green books, like Paper Towns and, um, I love Sam Raider's book, that's a show, that's not a book, that's like called, um, Fall in Our Stars, Run into the Catherines, I love, I love all sorts, and those, those are like the only books that I can read, I don't know, I like to read books that kind of, like, I don't know, it feels like I wrote the book, cause like, we, I don't know, I have like the same connections, you know, but, um, that's pretty much what I like to do when I'm bored. I just want to let you guys right know that I am giving up so much for you right now. I have not ate. I came back home from school. And every time I come home from school, I am starving. Like, I am starving right now. And I have not ate. And I am sacrificing myself because I don't have good lighting. And the only way I can get good lighting is through this window right here. And that's the only time. It's from, like, 5 to 6. So I have to, like, sh like I have to sh film like right now, so I'm just letting y'all know that I'm not eating right now because y'all. Anyways, the next, you know what I mean. Anyways, okay, so I'm gonna start tweeting. What would you, would you rather be famous and not have anyone to love or have a famous boyfriend but not be, no not be known whatsoever? Um, I think I'd be famous. I think I'd have a fate no. Yeah, I think I've had a famous boyfriend, but like, not being known. Like, let's say, like, Evan Peters broke up with Emma Roberts for some reason, and like, like, it would be okay if we got together. I think I'd rather be like, 
with him and like nobody know who I am just because like I don't think it really matters because like if you if you really care about that person then it shouldn't matter if people know who you are like I think if it's like public then no but if it's like your parents and like at least your parents gotta know you're dating someone but um yeah let's answer that question okay um the next question is would you rather have tons of family but be poor and have or have tons of money but no family I think I'd rather have family because family is always there for you and they can back you up and money is just like it's a material thing money goes away it can come and it can go away and family is always there for you because you're bl they're your blood so that's my answer to that okay the next question is how long have I been on Instagram if you guys don't know I have two Instagrams I have one for like it's kind of like my YouTube channel where it's just like tips and stuff to help you guys that's how to X tips and my other one is my Tumblr girl account where it's basically like pictures like you know all those Tumblr girls like four paws and stuff but um yeah I've been on Instagram since October I want to say it's October since 2014 because I remember I used to see all these tips and I'd be like Man, that's really cool. I wonder how they got so many followers. And then one day I was like, why don't I do it? At first, my tips were really shitty. I'm sorry for using language. But they really were. <laughs> like, they were bad. But, um, I learned to get better. And my tips are, like, they're better, but they're not as good as some other people's. But I'm working on it. So that's how... That's how long I've been on Instagram. Embarrassing moments. Oh lord, don't even get me started on that. I have so many embarrassing moments. Do you- okay, I have a question for you. You can comment down later, but um, have you ever had like a crush on a guy and like everything just go- like it goes horrible whenever you're around him or you're near him? Because that was basically my life last year because there's this guy and I keep like going back to him I don't know why we, we're never even together like I don't know why and like anyways um uh, embarrassing moments I'm gonna go with the first one and that was when I no we were both in theater arts together and the teacher was calling roll and of course you're supposed to say here stupid little me <laughs> said his name, keep in mind that he's sitting like right next to me because we're like partners in a table and I say his name pretty loud and he starts to blush next to me and my best friend doesn't make it any better because she's like laughing like a hyena in the back and I'm like yelling at her to shut up and then I end up laughing and it's just so embarrassing to not, not to hide the fact that his girlfriend was like five inches away, five feet away from us so yeah, that's pretty embarrassing. There's, I, I'm like, I bet there's like those, there's worse embarrassing moments that I've had. But that's the only one that I can think of the, off like the top of my head. Favorite beauty product. I'm actually making this into three favorite beauty products because I just couldn't choose one. So the first thing is this flamed out mascara by CoverGirl, and it's water resistant. But um, I really love it because it makes my lashes really long. It has um, like this really cool like brush, and it like gets through all of your like eyelash bristles, bristles, um, lash. I don't know what they're called, but um, it basically combs through all of your lashes, and it is in brown, which I don't really use brown unless it's like a natural look. But um, I use it sometimes just for the brush. So this is the first item. The second item is this really cute tiny little body spray by Body Fantasies. I got it at the dollar store for literally a dollar and there's like five of them. And I kind of want to go to the dollar store, the dollar store and buy them all now. Because they just smell really good. Like, this one smells really, really good. And the fact that it's like so cute and tiny and the bottling and everything. This is like one of my favorite. One of my, yeah, one of my favorite items. And the second one is obviously an EOS. I don't know. I say EOS sometimes. I say EOS. I think I don't know. I think it's weird. But um, these are my, one of my favorite products because it smells good. It actually tastes. Cause I know my friend got me some lip balm on my birthday, and it smelled really good, but it didn't taste like anything, and I thought that was kind of nasty. 
tastes good and it smooths out your lips. I always apply this before I put on any lipstick or lip gloss. Okay, um, so this, this was really funny because someone said, story of your first kiss. I'm, I'm gonna be a dork about this. I am 16 years old and I still have not had my first kiss. And I kind of don't want to. I mean, I do. But I wanted to be with the right person. This kind of sounds like a cheesy 90s movie, but that's that's really like there's like 12 year olds in middle school tonguing each other down, and I think that's like really stupid, honestly. But um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the right person. And the same person asks, first boyfriend. <laughs> this story is hilarious. Okay, my friends tease me about it all the time. It's just really stupid. Okay, when I was in eighth grade, which was like last year. I was friends with this guy, let's call him H, I was friends with him, and we've been friends for like two years, and I just started to develop feelings for him. So we would Skype each other, and I would like talk to him, and be like, hey, what's up? And it would get to the point where like, I told him, and I was like so afraid, because I've been rejected so many times, and he asked me out. And we're together for about a week. That's basically, like, it. Like, I broke up with him mainly because of religious reasons. Sugar Tutorials with the V and the U asked, Favorite childhood moment? She asked me to say her name. So, I did. Anyways, um, childhood moment. Ugh, childhood. Okay. The, I was a... <laughs> I was a crazy little thing when I was little, okay? I used to moon people, I used to be afraid of like the Disney intro, I used to be afraid, like I don't know, I was a weird little, I was a weird little thing, this is what, I used to like, I used to be deadly afraid of like the Disney like intro, like you know how like, it's like a castle, well now it's a castle and it goes into the thing, but before, like in the 2000s, well it's still 2000, like I mean like 2001, 2002, 2003, it used to be like, it, it would just be like, the Disney like logo and it would be all curvy like it still is but it would like twist and stuff and I thought it was scary because it was cursive I don't know why I, I was a weird child but I, I have a lot of plans to do this summer I'm just letting y'all know um this probably has nothing to do with the question but um this is what I, I'm planning to do this summer I am going on a cruise because um I didn't get to have like a quinceanera when I was 15 or sweet 16 so, um, I compromised to a cruise, so I'm going, I already paid for it and everything. I'm going on a seven day cruise to the Bahamas. So I will do vlogging on that because I know a lot of people want to see. Thanks for entering all your questions. I hope you got to get me, get to know me a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen my latest haul video. I know my other one had like 121 views and I thought that was really crazy. Anyways, um. I hope you like this video, give it a like, um, comment below if you like this video. I know I said comment below something, but I'm trying to remember it. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Wah!